these tie together real nicely, even with the pig. <laughs> Oh my goodness. <gasps> Their decorations look so good. It makes it look so perfect. It is warm and cozy. Texas home. Man. Look at this. This is beautiful. Everything came together. What a focal point, huh? How all this, how all this turned out. So we, when we took and did the demolition, we found these underneath. <laughs> yeah, right. Not really, but isn't it look like it was already here? Like yeah. it was part of the home? Everything looks original. All the timber looks, looks just perfect. And it is, by the way, structural. So this, this really is holding up two ceilings. Yeah. And a roof above it. I could cook in this kitchen. Mm -hmm. You like this kitchen, don't you? <laughs> yeah. I love everything about it. The light that goes in. When can we start looking at the features? Well, this countertop is so beautiful and I can't believe it's not like a marble or granite. It's quartz and it's it looks quartz. so natural yeah, and really stunning. Like a natural stone. Mm -hmm. Look at the storage everywhere in the island. Yep. And then your favorite. Well, I don't know if it's your favorite, oh, yeah. but is... one of... Ah, uh, yeah. Come look at this knife block. Sometimes we forget to block. show these. Check out this knife block. So yeah. So isn't that awesome? Mm-hmm. And the panel on the ice maker makes it just completely disappear. I didn't even know that it was there. Yeah. And then we have, we made use of every single spot. Sure did. Look at the, oh, I remember another storage area here for spice racks. Oh, right really? Here right there oh wow uh-huh and trash trash can right there i was looking for that earlier but that's a great place to have it <laughs> easy under access. cabinet lighting nice a couple of visual for pretty storage mm -hmm. really the perfect amount of glass the perfect amount of 
stainless with the very comfortable with your specialty finished faucets on both places. Yeah. Really nice. Not overdone with too much of one color. Mm -hmm. These tie together real nicely, even with the pig. <laughs> well, what's really nice, a big part that I really like is their furniture ties in so well. They had a very unique style that they knew they wanted to keep with the original elements of the home. So we were able to do that by knowing exactly how they were gonna move in their space, what they needed. They needed this to be more open, but they still wanna keep the cozy vibe. So we didn't remove the fireplace. So they still have some- Compartmentalization. Rooms, but separate it still feels, rooms. But it still feels very, very connected. Mm -hmm. Yeah. And I love the fact that these rooms, these three main rooms are all opened up now. Yeah. And then with they a have very a usable, separate. very usable. I love the fact that this is really tucked in with the stools so that you're not, not got just a in between overhang. Mm -hmm. This, yep. this to me is my favorite style on an Island where you have the support in three spaces, one, two, and then three and no brackets, no corbels. And yet you've got plenty of room to sit up here and, yep. and eat or stand. If you want to push them in, mm -hmm. you can, you can actually use this without the stools being in the way. Yeah. And it creates a really nice, large opening pathway for oh, yeah. daily use. This, this it tucks in, in so neatly. I think this is a perfectly designed Island because mm -hmm. of that. It's one of my favorite island designs to have it tucked in like that with the bar stools. Yep. And then another feature or, so we kept this saltio tile. Right. And so we added the new wood flooring, but the transition was a custom strip that we made, not out of the same wood even because of the large hump. So we had our guys over and the stain matches perfectly. Our homeowner said, you can't tell. And she pointed it out to me and I had heard on the text mm -hmm. thread, well, we're going to make a transition, but it looks great. It and does. you don't stub because of the way that they angled it. And beveled it. Mm -hmm. It's perfect. Yeah. That's, that's customized right there. Yeah. Very, very custom. Well, let's look at this, what we pantry. did here in the pantry. So the pantry that we built, nice Butler pantry area. And so did we take, we took from the office area right. and made a butler's pantry in yeah, here, right? So that's right. We have the bathroom here. Mm -hmm. But this butler's pantry, this is what you need in a butler's pantry. You need food storage and then you need prep storage. So when you have people over or you have a caterer, they can come, they can use this countertop usefully and not be in your kitchen. That's right. So best of both worlds. So coming in here, we made this a little cozier for an office and this was the closet that we built. And if you step over here, you can see how we, we did this remodeling right here. And this is going back into the pantry. So as much as I love the kitchen, I think I love the bathroom even more. It's it is special. A spa. It? And I like everything in between <laughs> getting there. Oh yeah. The transition is beautiful, the transition right? transition here. I love the master bedroom. Yep. It's the master bedroom is just so cozy too. Oh, I know the, the fireplace sitting area, the, the wood fireplace. flooring continues. I, when I first saw the furniture that they put in here, I was like, oh my goodness, this is beautiful. Yeah, this is nice. Yep. Every feature of it. So let's show them your favorite bathroom. Mm. It looks like we're entering a day spa. It is beautiful. The, I really love how they did an oversized or a full mirror instead of putting the tower, pot tower in the center. They each really have like their own. Too. They can be a little more cozy together, but it makes the space look so much it's, bigger. It feels so much bigger and it yeah. does. It's not a huge space between, but it feels like it's a lot larger. Exactly. I really like that. I love the cabinetry too. Mm -hmm. the, does it match the kitchen, right? Uh huh. It's yeah. gorgeous. The naughty. Mm-hmm. And then they've got the gorgeous clawfoot tub. Oh, it's a true spa in here. And then outside they have their own little alcove and it's just a really beautiful master suite that flows throughout the entire home. Not a bad looking tub, is it? <laughs> it looks pretty comfortable too. Yes. The angle on it. Oh, uh, slipper tub. Mm -hmm. It is beautiful, beautiful. So 
I am so proud of this beautiful, elegant, dated, rustic. I'm calling it uh, French. Country French? Co French country. French country. Mm -hmm. Our beautiful French country uh, house in, where is it? Chavanel Park? Chavanel Park, yeah. yeah. It's so gorgeous. What a, what a privilege to be working for them and to be able to do all these different elements in the same project. Mm -hmm. A lot of fun and a lot of a lot of reward for us, but I know the homeowners are just already so excited about it. We They just left a few minutes ago and they couldn't stop talking about yeah, it. They were so happy. And that's the best part, seeing the clients happy and living in the space that we built for them. And when it looks this beautiful, it's just the icing on the cake. Yeah. <laughs> so thank you all for joining us and checking it all out. We, we hope you join us for the next ones.